Hello and welcome. This is Crypto Chain with simple cryptocurrency demos. And in this demo, I'm going to show you the O Wallet, which is the official wallet by Ontology. Now, once you download it from their GitHub page, which I'm going to post in a pinned comment at the end of this video, you should be welcomed with this exact screen that you're seeing here. Once you get in, you need to click on enter. And now that you've accessed the wallet, you'll see three different tabs. You've got the individual wallet tab where you can create a brand new wallet or you can import a wallet if you've already got a private key. You've got the shared wallet option. For example, if you want to create a wallet which is shared by multiple people and will require multiple signatures, you can do that. Or you can join a wallet which is already shared. And finally, you've got the ledger wallet, which means that if you have any cold storage device, for example, a hardware wallet like Ledger Nano S, you can connect that ledger to the ontology wallet. In this demo, I'm going to create a brand new wallet, which is going to be an individual wallet. How do I do that? You click on create individual wallet, you give it a name, which is a label, ontology test in this case, you give it a password, and you repeat the password, you click next. <clears throat> Now, you're being asked to save the .dat file, which is the backup file. So you save it. It already exists because I've done a demo before. So yes, I want to replace it. Okay, and here we can see the label ontology underscore test. You can see my public address. You can see my public key, my signature scheme, and the private key. You need to make sure that you back these up. Okay, you can download the .dat file, which I've already done. So you click next. And here we can see the label. And you can add multiple wallets if you want, of course, within the same software. Now, if we click on this, here is where we can see our public address and the balance. Obviously, I don't have any transactions or any ontology coins. However, if I was to send an ontology coin, that would show up here and it would automatically start generating unbound, unbound ONG. So just to make you aware, the, two diff the difference between the unbound ONG and the claimable ONG is that unbound ONG is the one that gets generated automatically by the blockchain. You will not turn it into a claimable ONG until you create a transaction. Okay, you need to create a transaction on the wallet. Now, how do you do that? You simply send some more ontology coins, for example, to your wallet, or you can send out ontology coins and you can make that ontology, sorry, ontology gas or ONG claimable. Once it's claimable, you can click the redeem button and it's going to charge you 0.1 ontology gas to, to move it to the ontology gas balance. Okay, so that's how it works. Now you've also got the ontology uh, NEP5 token version which is on the NEO blockchain. So before ontology moved to their own blockchain, for those of you that don't know, Ontology used to be a token on the NEO blockchain and all the tokens on the NEO blockchain are called NEP5 tokens, hence why we've got NEP5 in brackets. Now Ontology uh, had the swap functionality from NEP5 to their Ontology blockchain. However, they, uh, they were supposed to end that in October, but they extended it now until the 31st of December. So yes, it is still possible to do the swap until 31st of December. After that, you cannot swap any longer. Okay, now let's move on to the next feature. You've got the Ontology ID, which is kind of like your individual ID. It doesn't actually require documentation, KYC, but who knows? Maybe in the future it will. It's like your personal identification. That's the best way to think about it. Then you've got the node stake authorization. So as I mentioned, you can actually generate ontology gas by holding ontology coins, right? But if you use the stake authorization feature, click the button, you've got a number of nodes on the ontology blockchain, right? And ontology, what they're going to do is they're going to reward you by staking your ontology tokens or coins to one of these nodes. Okay, what they do is they have a certain amount of ontology gas that they distribute to all these different nodes. So each, each different node will receive a certain percentage depending on the stake. So we can see 6.6 .6 million have been uh, staked here. We've got 25% progress, uh, 5.8 million here and so on. So for example, let's say I want to stake to Duba. 
I've got, I can use my individual wallet or the ledger. And when I click on this button here, it shows me my label and my public address. So I can click on that. I click next. And here I can create the stake authorization. I can submit it, right? It tells me the profits are zero. Okay, at the moment. Uh, this is the transaction fee profit you have made. So yeah, it's zero because I haven't actually staked anything. So once I stake to the node, keep in mind that it will be staked for a number of, it will be for more than a month, I believe, because you need to wait a whole round. So it tells you here, if a new stake is canceled, it will be canceled immediately and will be shown as redeemable ONT. If authorized ONT from previous consensus rounds is canceled, it will be redeemable only at the beginning of the next consensus round. Okay, so yes, these consensus rounds last about a month. So you will have to stake for that long. And once you stake, uh, well, this is how you stake. You go to submit a new stake authorization and you've got the units of stake authorization. Obviously, you've got an allowed stake amount, which is 21 million. This is the node name. This is your wallet address. And each unit represents 500 ontology coins, right? So for example, if I was to change to two, you can see that the stake amount would be 1,000. So I can click submit, however, I don't have any ontology coins. So let's enter the password. This is just to show you how it would work. So you click OK and normally that should work. That should generate the transaction on the blockchain. However, I get the message that I've got an insufficient balance. I can close out of this and go back. And yes, uh, it will tell me how many ONT co uh, coins I've got locked as well. Once I submit for stake authorization, um, there's also the redeem redeemable ONT, right? So I can redeem it. Obviously, if I want to stake multiple ontology coins to different nodes, uh, I will have only a certain amount redeemable after the time uh, expires. And then I've got the unbound ONG, which I can redeem. Again, you will need to generate the transaction for that as well. You will need to pay 0 0.1 ONG. And yeah, then you've got the rewards, which is the profit that you can also redeem. So yeah, keep that in mind as well. Uh, we've also got this exchange uh, feature, which pretty much tells you the prices of all the coins. Well, most of the coins anyways, that are out there. You've got the ontology price, $1.32 at the moment. You've got the market cap here. And it even tells you um, the price difference between uh, yesterday in the last 24 hours in terms of percentage. You've got Bitcoin, you've got Ripple, Ethereum, Bitcoin Cash, etc. So quite a lot of them. So yeah, um, this is pretty much how it works. That's what I wanted to show you. Just wanted to do this short demo to explain to you, to help you familiarize yourself with how this on O wallet actually works. Uh, I hope this video was informative for you. If you enjoyed my video and you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and enable notifications so that you're aware of when I upload the future videos. Also, please don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it. I'd like to thank you very much. Have a lovely day and see you in my next video. Goodbye.